Let's get it. Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have Nisha with me. This is the my my waxer. Is that the hey, right term? Is that right term waxer? Yeah, waxer, wax specialist. Waxer, just your Okay, waxer. she's my waxer. I've been going waxer. to her for a while. So a lot of people have questions about Brazilian waxes and just getting waxed in general. Um, so I decided to get with her and I asked you guys what you wanted to know about waxing and what are like common questions and stuff and she's here to answer them. Alright, so the first question is... Yes, my nail's missing. Stop judging me. My nail appointment is literally tomorrow, but I forgot to say something in the video. So y'all stop judging me. Is what all is included in a Brazilian wax? Okay, so a Brazilian wax, you are going to get your whole full front wax with a butt strip. So pretty much it's your bikini line, the full front, and then the butt strip part, which is around the booty hole part. <laughs> okay, what are the benefits of waxing like compared to shaving and doing like laser and stuff like that? So the benefits of waxing versus shaving. Shaving, when you shave, the hair grows back in two to three days versus waxing, it takes three to four weeks depending on your hair texture and how you take care of your skin. Some people can last up to six weeks or longer. Some people can last up to three weeks. Um, it removes the dead skin cells. It helps with the darkness that's going on from shaving because when you shave, sometimes you just shaving the hairs off at the top. It's not pulling the hairs out. So with waxing, it grows back in one layer. Shaving grows back in three layers. So you help it with dead skin cells, hyperpigmentation, which is the dark spots, and ingrowns as well. Cool. I love how informative you are. I love it. <laughs> oh, what's the? Well, you already explained that. What's the difference between a Brazilian and a bikini? Um. Well, you do have two different wax. You have a Brazilian wax and a bikini wax. Some people don't like the uh, butthole area, so if you just want to do the full front, you know, with the labias included without the butt strip, um, that is called bikini wax. So yeah, it is two different ones. So bikini is everything, just not the back. Mhm. Mm so Brazilian. Oh, I thought it was just the the sides, like on your leg. And That's the look. bikini line. So you have a bikini okay. line, and then you have a bikini wax which is, um, you know, the line, full front, everything like that without the butt strip. And then you want a full Brazilian, that's everything in the butt strip. Okay, okay. How long after Brazilian can I self-tan and how long after can I have sex? Um, don't quote me too much on the self-tan. Um, I would say 48 hours you will want to wait. Um, now on the sex part, a lot of people have said 24 hours. Um, now I have done my research, it is good too. You can go ahead and you know be sexually active after your Brazilian. Um, me as your waxer, I would say wait about four hours because your skin, you know, is irritated a little bit from waxing. Your pores is open, but um, it is recommended to be sexual after waxing because you know you have all these juices flowing and everything. You're very sensitive, so I just say if you do decide to do that, um, just get immediately in a shower right afterwards. You know because you could. Be irritated get irritated you know how long does a Brazilian wax last like how often do you recommend that they come back um a first time guest I would recommend coming back about three to four weeks because it's your first time if you have been coming to me for a while you can go up to about six uh seven eight weeks like I said it just all depends on how you take care of your skin um it is idea to come four weeks because um, every hair cycle grows every three weeks so by the time the fourth week comes another hair cycle is starting to grow. So about four weeks. Can I still get a Brazilian wax if I'm pregnant or is it okay to get waxed right before, like if you're going into labor? Yep, it is definitely recommended to get waxed um, while you're pregnant versus shaving because you know, your belly is in a way you can't really see. So when you shave, you can kind of cut yourself and lose blood. So the doctors actually, actually recommend getting waxed versus shaving. There's not such a thing as like too close to labor mm -mm, for nope. getting waxed? Okay. Um, I have people that actually can come here for the first time and they about two weeks out from having a baby or about a month out, you know, because with having a baby, you're gonna get shaved anyway, so mm -hmm. they prefer to get waxed. Okay. How can I prepare to get waxed? Like what do I do before my appointment? 
Um, so first time guests, no shaving up to two weeks. Um, I would say exfoliate with a sugar scrub. Um, I prefer what I tell my clients to use this Tree Hut sugar scrub. Mm. Um, this is the original Shea one. Um, my favorite one is Almond and Honey, but I tell my clients to use this. You can find this at Walmart, Ulta, Target. It's no more than about seven bucks. So all of these are great. I love them. I prefer sugar. Some people use salt. Salt is a little bit too harsh, but sugar's good. She put me on that scrub. Woo! Good. It's my favorite. Every time I go back, I get a different one. And I sing you the one, right, with the vitamin C. Yes. Oh, my yeah. God. And you have a turmeric one too, so that's really good too. Ooh. For people that like is dealing with any dark areas, turmeric, use that one. Is there any other products you recommend other than that? Um, Cause that was the next question, but you kind of already <laughs> touched right. it. Well, uh, for us exfoliating, I like mean- Like cleansers or anything cleansers. like that? Well, I'm, I'm all into all natural cleansers and things like that. So I currently use Shea Moisture Cleanser Body Wash. Um, it's like paraben free. Um, organic natural products i know dr broner's is a big one um you may have to dilute, that one. right you mm -hmm. may have to dilute that one um, because it has a lot of mineral oils in it but it's really good so i'm all about keeping things natural down there, does it itch whenever the hair grows back like whenever you shave most of the time you get the bumps and it itches is it like that with waxing um, I would say again, it depends on your hair because if you're not exfoliating, you know, the hair has to grow back so the dead skin cells are sitting on top so it may cause it some itch and some, you know, irritation and everything like that. But if you are on top of your skincare, exfoliating, moisturizing, and drinking water, that's a big thing with waxing because the hair is growing back so you got to stay hydrated at all times. So, um, I would say it just all depends on how you take care of yourself, but if you do all those things, be good um what's like the price range of your different services like of the bikini mm -hmm. the brazilian um so honestly my brazilian it goes no more than 50 um and so between the bikini line and brazilian it ranges between 22 and 50. is it okay to shower and exfoliate right after you get waxed um yes it's okay to shower. I do say wait about an hour, you know, to wash because your pores are open, so at least allow the pores to close, you know, before um, showering. But exfoliating, no, you do not want to exfoliate at least about five to uh, five days to a week after your wax because that can irritate the skin. You have no hair there, no dead skin cells there. You're just going to be exfoliating like bare skin, so don't do that. Um, is it common for you to bleed after you get a Brazilian or um, after you get waxed in general? It could be a little common. Um, again, that does depend on your hair texture. If you exfoliate it and how thick and coarse your hair is. If you're spotting, that is totally normal, especially on a first time guest. You've never been waxed. Um, most of the time, we're waxing three layers of hair, you mm -hmm. know, so that is um, common to bleed a little bit. Now, if you just pouring blood, no, that is, <laughs> <laughs> that is not common. I don't know what's going on, but um, spotting a little blood here and there, that's, that is um, definitely common. Being a little irritated afterwards is common, uh, but if you've been getting waxed regularly, you should be good. And it's true that your hair thins out, like the more you get waxed, the mm -hmm. thinner your hair gets. The more you get waxed, the more you don't even have to come. I say every four weeks, you keep doing it every four weeks, eventually it'll be six weeks, eight weeks, or however long you want to come. So. Okay. One more question. <laughs> um, is it okay if you are on your period to get waxed? Um, so, <laughs> as your waxer, if you decide that you want to get waxed on your cycle, you can. I do prefer you to um, have a clean tampon in, but I don't recommend getting waxed on your cycle due to the fact that you are more sensitive. So if you have, if you gotten waxed on your cycle before, then you pretty much know your body. But for first time guests, again, going back to first time guests, I don't recommend that. You're very sensitive. You got a lot more things going on, so it may cause a little bit more reaction, more blood, and so yeah. I would say if you do decide to get waxy, you want to know like when should I wait? Wait at least about a week after your cycle or a week before your cycle before getting um, waxed. Well, let's post. Yes. yes. <laughs> but, okay, we gotta do an well, outro. We're almost done. I gotta say bye. Oh, I'm back in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
right guys that is it for today's video thank you Nisha <laughs> no, thank you for all the information but I will have her Instagram I'm probably gonna put it on the screen and then I'll also put it down below so you guys go check her out I've been going no, to her for like for real. two years how long have I been there? actually it's been longer I've been here about a year and eight months oh you know, so it's been a while no, since I've been going to her years. And I'm telling you, once I went to her, I didn't go to nobody else. Here I you said, go. okay. <laughs> but she does it in under 10 minutes, and she actually talks to you, and like I just Literally. feel so comfortable. Literally. Literally. So, I don't know. I love her. But anyways, if you guys are in the I'm DFW too, area. Y'all need to stop sleeping on your girl. Come get your makeup done. Y'all know it's going to be a uh, prom season. No. <laughs> no. Prom, prom is it's around the January. corner, though. <laughs> Prom is January. in April, March, right? April, 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 May. April, May. Right April, May. We promote it right now. Stop sleeping. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Good <laughs> but me, look, she already has my cards in here. Let's go. <laughs> but I will give I you guys her Instagram. Come get waxed. Yes, come get waxed. Y'all sleeping. Yes, yes. Wake, wake up. Subscribe. Come on. Go follow her. You all got this. Come on. 2020. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> um, come see me, y'all. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions, just comment down below and I will ask her and try our best to answer them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I, feel, I was nervous. Could you tell, friend? No. 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 The camera. What up though?